another edition of the Nightly News. I'm Chris Lee here with LPNN bringing you all the news that is news and none of the news that isn't most of the time. Our internet is wreaking havoc with us tonight, so hopefully you don't have to put up with too much of the Max Hedrum. Mario says hello. Hello Mario, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. How you doing down there? Still a little toasty? <laughs> All right, uh, we do have a few things for you tonight. Tonight's episode is brought to you in part by our amazing sponsors. We've got Ted's Marine Supply, H&R Block, right here in Page, Arizona, the City of Page Recreation Department, and Big John's Texas Barbecue. A big shout out to them for helping us get you guys the news in real time. All right, let's see what we have for you today. This afternoon, we broadcast an accident at the intersection of Highway 98 and Copper Mine Road. Detective Tarik, who was on scene, let us know that it was a two-vehicle big thank you to Detective Tarik for letting us know and to all the emergency responders who helped keep us safe. Uh, we do have a picture, actually, that one of our viewers sent in. Give me just a second, and I will pull that up. There we go. Oh, man, our Internet is having all kinds of fun tonight. I do apologize for that. We would also like to thank one of our viewers, Holly Castellan, for sending us this photo of the accident. This was taken from the opposite side from where we were filming. We were actually heading out this way, and they were on one side of the intersection. They had a little bit of a better angle. Thankfully, no one was injured during this. Oh, look at that. My head's in the way. There we go. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> All right. Let's see what else we have here for you. Uh, let's see. Oh, Mario says, uh, good, it's still hot. We are supposed to get some rain tomorrow, hopefully for the next two days. Yes, uh, looks like we might have some rain in the forecast up here as well. You guys certainly need it down there, I can tell. Uh, all right, let's see what we have here. From the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area and the National Park Service. Due to low water levels in Lake Powell, the Utah Department of Transportation Ferry Wedge at Halls Crossing will be moved to its low water position, which is located adjacent to the Halls Crossing Marina at the Halls Crossing main boat ramp, according to a press release from the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area and NPS. Due to the move, the Charles Hall Ferry will be out of service tomorrow, September 19th, through part of the day, Thursday, September 20th. The ferry should return to full service Thursday afternoon after the installation of the docking wedge is complete. The Charles Hall Ferry will remain at the low water location until further notice. According to the release, Utah 276 traffic will need to detour through height on Utah 95. With the change in location, ferry departure times have been rescheduled. And I believe I actually have uh, the schedule here for you. Give me a second to pull it up. Uh, possibly, maybe. There we go. Oh, there it is. There are the new dis uh, the departure times for that ferry. David's given us a thumbs up. Thanks for joining us, David. And thank you all for liking, commenting, and sharing on all these posts. It really does help us. And uh, after all, if not you, then who? All right. So uh, get a screenshot of that if you guys are up there and uh, wanting to use the ferry. All right. Let's see what else we have here. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> All right, uh, moving on to Coconino County. The Coconino County sheriffs are asking for the public's assistance in locating Andrew Bauer, an 18-year-old from the Flagstaff area. We have his picture here. He was last seen in Baderville, northwest of Flagstaff, around midnight on September 17th. He has brown hair, green eyes, weighs about 150 pounds, and is six foot one. He normally wears a gold chain around his neck and uh, his neck and a gold earring in his left ear. If you have any information regarding his whereabouts, please contact the Coconino County Sheriff's Department or Silent Witness. So keep an eye out for him. <clears throat> All right. Um, yesterday, we actually uh, talked about some of this. They do have an update for us. There is an ATV accident. According to authorities, the bodies of four men whose ATV went over a cliff and sparked a 10-acre fire in the Blue Ridge area over the weekend have been recovered. According to the Coconino County Sheriff's Office, their names are currently being withheld pending notification of family members. Authorities do not yet know why the men failed to navigate a turn along the trail which caused their ATV to fall 400 feet below the cliff. 
The terrain and the fire made recovery efforts difficult and dangerous for rescuers. All right, moving on to some other news. Blood drive. This week, United Blood Services is in the area for a community blood drive to help the blood supply staying strong in the wake of possible demand from Hurricane Florence. There was one today at Page Banner Hospital. If you missed that one, you will have another chance. On Thursday the 20th, United Blood Services will be at the Page High School at the CAB lobby from 9.30 to 2.30. You can go to this website to schedule an appointment. Hold on, and I will see if I can't copy and paste that over here. Possibly. All right, there we go. And pasting it over. Uh, let's see. Oh, Amber, or I'm sorry, uh, Heather says, hello, hello, Heather. Thanks for joining us. All right, uh, let's see. <clears throat> or if you prefer not to make an appointment, uh, we think you can walk in between those hours. So that is that on the blood drive. Moving on to some Utah news. Trail Hero. This year marks the fourth annual Trail Hero event in Hurricane. The event will be featuring four days of guided trail rides and exhibitions for everyone to enjoy and experience. The event kicks off with a kickoff party at Sand Hollow Hoff Road on Tuesday, October 2nd. On Wednesday, October 3rd, trail rides will be honored uh, will be honoring those with special needs. And on Thursday, October 4th, the event will have trail rides. Trail Hero is a supporter of public lands and the event features off-road trail rides of differing styles and adventures to raise awareness for keeping public land open. Proceeds from the event go to the Utah Public Lands Alliance and Utah Four-Wheel Drive Association with the goal of keeping public lands open. For more information on the event, to sign up or uh, to participate or to register for guided trails or to contact them, check out their website. We'll go ahead and throw this on out there. See if it'll pop up here. Give me just a moment. Oh man, this internet's having all kinds of fun stuff with me tonight. I do apologize. Woo -wee. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Uh, moving on to some national news. Air Force's birthday. As we celebrate in honor this week as Constitution Week, we also want to wish the U.S. Air Force happy birthday. Today marks their 71st birthday. <coughs> on this day in 1947, the Air Force was officially founded when Chief Justice Fred Vinson swore in Stuart Symington as the first secretary of the Air Force. All right, moving on to a little of event, uh, events we have going on, then we're going to cover the weather. From the City of Page Recreation Department, the Recreation Department is still accepting late registrations for soccer, but only for third through eighth graders. The younger leagues have filled up, and there is a $10 late registration fee. You can register online at cityofpage.recdesk.com. Ah, Kelly's got the eyes. Good to see you here. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. And thank all of you guys for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of these videos. It really does help us out with that Facebook algorithm. That thing can be interesting. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and uh, move on to the weather. There we are. It looks like tonight we're going to have a low of 68 degrees with the winds right around 5 miles an hour. And what is that we see tomorrow? Wednesday we have a high of 83 with a low of 60 and about a 50% chance of thunderstorms later in the day. So 50% chance either, either means it's going to be completely dry or we're all going to wash away. We'll have to keep an eye on that and see what happens. On Thursday, we have a high of 87 with a low of 60 and nice and sunny out with those winds right around 5 miles an hour. And on Friday, a high of 88 with a low of 62. Let's go ahead and move on to our local calendar of events and see what's going on tomorrow. Oh, hold on one second. There we are. Today is the 18th, making tomorrow the 19th. Ha ha. All right, 10 a.m. DVD exercises over at the community center. Also at 10 a.m. is Baby Playtime over at the Page Public Library. At 10.45 a.m. is Story Time over at the Page Public Library. At 3 p.m. at the Page Public Library is Laptop Computers. And also We Gaming at 3 p.m. at the Page Public Library. At 5.30 p.m. is the Substance Abuse Task Force meeting. And at 6.15 p.m. at the Community Center is Zumba. All right, let me check and make sure we don't have anything creeping around through here. 
All right, looks like that's about it for you guys. Thank you so much for joining us, and a big shout out to our sponsors for helping us bring you guys the news in real time. Thank you for being a huge part of the network, all of you that are out there. Everyone that you, every time you see something out there, when you let us know about it, we get out there and investigate it so everyone else can know. You guys have an amazing night, and we'll see you tomorrow on the Morning Cup.